Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruscio. I wanted to briefly speak with you about your thyroid and fluoride. You've probably heard something about the potential of fluoride to cause hypothyroidism. And up until just recently, I considered this more of a, um, maybe a frivolous kind of um, issue regarding thyroid. I hadn't really seen a lot of strong scientific evidence to suggest this was a major issue for thyroid until just recently. Now I'll put the study abstract on the screen, but a study was done in February of 2015 published in the Journal of Epidemiolo Epidemiology, excuse me, that's a tongue twister, and Community Health, and they found something that I thought was fairly striking, and to quote from the study, we found that practices located in West Midlands, this is in England, a wholly fluoridated area, so an area that has fully fluoridated water, are nearly twice as likely to report high hypothyroidism prevalence in comparison to Greater Manchester, a non-fluoridated area. So this was a observational population study that showed that people who live in communities that are drinking fully fluoridated water were nearly twice as likely to have high levels of hypothyroidism compared to those not drinking fluoridated water. So this, to me, um, was a very, very important finding. Now, what do you do with this information? Well, the good news is, is that the solution to this potential issue is a very practical one, meaning you should drink filtered water um, or water that does not have uh, fluoride. It's a fairly easy fix. Now, you may have also heard you need to do a fluoride flush or a, a halogen flush, something where you take high doses of iodine to help flush out this fluoride. And I don't think that that's necessary and it might be a little bit detrimental. Iodine can and has been clearly shown to have the potential to provoke or make thyroid autoimmunity worse. So that may be a, a huge reaction that you may have to this uh, potential therapy. And then secondly, when you stop the ingestion of fluoride, the half-life of fluoride is around a couple to about 10 days, meaning that this will find its way out of your body fairly quickly once the source of it has been addressed. Now, we did record a two-part podcast series um, on this issue of uh, iodine and thyroid. And one of the components was iodine, fluoride, chlorine, and bromide, and thyroid. Kind of looking at all these different elements known as halogens that may interfere with your thyroid function. Uh, if you want to have a deeper kind of narrative on this issue, and you can go over to drrusho.com, D-R-R-U-S-C-I-O.com, click on the podcast page and find your way to those two podcast episodes. Um, but in, in recap, fluoride, fluoridated water, does seem to increase, maybe by twofold, your chances of being hypothyroid. But the solution to this is a practical one. Filter your water or drink non-fluoridated water. I would save the um, fluoride detox protocol. And again, if you want more information on the whys behind that, you can see the podcast where we discuss that in more detail. So this is Dr. Ruscio, and I hope this helps. Thanks.